An update to Nokia's smartphone range means the brand now offers something whatever your budget. In total, four new smartphones have been unveiled at this year's MWC. Let's take a look at some of their key features. So this is the cheapest of the bunch, it's the Nokia One. It has a 4.5 inch display, 8 gigabytes of internal storage and 1 gigabyte of RAM. The phone runs on a modified version of Android called Android Oreo Go Edition. And that basically means that the phone ships with a couple of pre-installed apps that are designed to run smoothly on a cheap smartphone like this one. Next up is the Nokia 7 Plus. It's a mid-range mobile with a dual lens camera. There's a 12 megapixel wide angle lens on the back, sat just above a 13 megapixel telephoto lens. We've had some fun today playing around with the Bothy feature, which lets you record a video using the back camera and the front camera at the same time. Tucked inside the Nokia 7 Plus is four gigabytes of RAM and a Snapdragon 660 processor. It'll be available in May at 399 euros. Last but certainly not least is the Nokia 8 Sirocco, which becomes Nokia's most powerful smartphone on the market. It has a crisp 5.5 inch 2K display and a whopping six gigabytes of RAM, which means it should cope effortlessly with multitasking. The Nokia 8 Sirocco features the same dual lens camera system that's found on the cheaper Nokia 7 Plus. It will arrive in April at 749 euros. If you're set on buying a Nokia phone this year, you really are spoiled for choice. We'll be sending all the new arrivals off to our test lab as soon as possible. For more smartphone news and reviews, subscribe to the Witch channel by clicking here. If you want to see how Nokia's past smartphone releases have performed in our test lab, click here. Otherwise, to learn more about Nokia's unique curved 8110, click here.